Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your best life in Jesus Christ. I heard a story not too long ago I'm going to relate now. It seems that President Franklin Delano Roosevelt uh, had to attend a lot of receptions, and he was a practical joker anyway. So he got really tired of smiling that big smile of his and saying all the usual things at White House receptions. So the story goes that <clears throat> one evening he decided to find out whether anybody was really paying attention to what he was saying. So as each person came up to him, he extended, you know, they'd always extend their hand. He'd extend his hand. He'd flash his big smile and he'd say, I murdered my grandmother this morning. <laughs> People would automatically respond with whatever comments they had planned, such as, oh, how lovely, or continue on with your great work. <laughs> Nobody listened to what he was saying except for one foreign diplomat. When the president said, I murdered my grandmother this morning, the diplomat responded softly, I'm sure she had it coming. It's, it's a funny story, but how often do we do the same? And no, I don't mean tell folks that you killed someone, but rather not really listen to what others say. James 1, 19 and 20 says, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. It seems that we have lots to say, but we're not really good at listening at all. Think about it. How many language, speech, and speaking courses did you find in college? in your college course book, or were you required to take? But can you think of even one class you had to take on listening? The closest thing I ever had was a psychology class where we practiced something called reflective listening. There's such a lack of good listening skills in this day and age. Now, and some people want to blame our increased use of technology, and to be honest with you, I'm sure that's a factor. But I'm of the opinion that the truth is it's simply a choice that we all make. Think of all we miss by not taking a few moments to listen to those around us. More importantly, God has many things he desires to reveal to us, and we're, but we can't listen to him because we're always talking, talking, talking. It reminds me of uh, when we were kids and we used to play with walkie-talkies. You know, if you ever use a walkie-talkie, you know that in order to hear what the other guy has to say, you got to shut up and let up off the button. One of the best ways to show that you truly love someone and care about them is to listen to them. When someone starts talking you, they're inviting you to walk with them, to go with them where they're going, to journey with them for a short period of time. Maybe it's not your first choice of conversation. <laughs> maybe you're in a hurry. And maybe you just don't feel like you have the time. Stop and take the time to invest in someone else's story. Be an example of God's love and let His light shine through you by simply listening. We need to be ready to listen to people whenever they're ready to talk. That's something it's taken me years to learn. You might have to give up lunch at work. You might have to skip your workout or miss your favorite show. And that may seem like a big deal to you, but the truth is it's not, and you'll live. <laughs> the point is, God asks us to represent him to others. And God always, always has time to listen wholeheartedly when we're ready to talk to him. Let's be that light in this lonely, technology-driven world. Let's strive to do less talking and more listening today. Let's give the Lord and others a chance to be heard. So for today, I suggest that we all let up off the button and hear what others have to say. I hope you make today a great day. I want you to remember that I'm here if you need me. And I love you all.